Hi everyone, today we're going to be colouring in this um, pineapple. I'm going to try and keep it in the in shot for you. When the page is not pushed down, it goes out of frame. Anyway, this is from Magical Jungle and um, my son picked this page for me to colour, which has got the sort of repeating leaf and pineapple page. And uh, he said he wanted it to have a gold pineapple and lots of everything else being gemstones. Now, I have slightly taken him up on his challenge but not, not quite so there will be some gold in the pineapple and I have my gold pen here to do some later but we're going to do some other colours too so we're going to start off with number 38 we're using Stedler Ergosoft today um, this screen I've started off colouring this is actually a um, polychromos pencil but um, I've only got my Ergosofts down here so we'll have to mix and match a bit and what my idea is for the, this top bit of the uh, sort of leafy bits is to start off with the dark green and then lighten it down a little bit. So just to take this darker colour only a little way up. Yes, I was, I'd finished a facing page of this and a few other, I haven't done a lot in this book yet. I've finished a copy of Magical Jungle and haven't done hadn't started, oh I started a new one which I've done a video of actually which is going out, would have already gone out, where I've done um, tutorial pages. So I've done online tutorials from YouTube and uh, gosh that one's going to be quite dark. And um, I did online tutorials from YouTube in the book, so the book is dedicated to only doing tutorials. And I did a little flip through the tutorials I've done so far. I haven't done loads. I think there's about 15. But um, so I've started this new fresh copy of Magical Jungle because I happen to have this this copy I won in a competition. It's very lucky. And um, so I, this is an American version, a US version. I usually only have the UK versions. And anyway, I'll tell you about the competition in a minute. So so I thought I would start this book doing my own colouring and just keep the other one purely for tutorials because I'm so lucky that I've got these extra copies. So the um, I won a competition actually by Stedler who made the pencils. And I'm just checking, you can see I've been jolly colouring away and not watching. And uh, anyway, so Stedler ran a competition. It was a colouring competition from Magical Jungle and um, on a free download sort of sheet and I coloured it in using Stedler Ergosoft pencils thinking that that would be a good thing to do for Stedler. I think it was a draw anyway, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I don't think it was done on skill, as it were. And uh, anyway, I was lucky enough to win. So I finished, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing here. So I did extra layers of colour here lighter up towards the tip just like I very often do. I'm going to put this one aside and take a slightly lighter shade. I'm just going to go down in the box and the next one down is number five and uh, I'm going to go back over what I've done and lighten the tips leaving this area here dark so I'm not going to necessarily go all the way to the bottom. Anyway and I, I won and it was fantastic. It was a My Creative Escape competition or something so I've got a themed box which unfortunately got a bit squished in the post and then I put it inside a box of my art stuff and it got even more squished so I don't have the box anymore but there was the box and inside there was a copy of Magical Jungle which I'd already bought a copy of because um, it had already been published and I always buy Johanna's books as soon as they come out and it also had a tin of Ergosoft pencils, a 36 tin which was lovely which is probably the one I'm using I'm not sure and some Stedler fine liner pens and some of their um, tripless pens which are more like just normal felt tips but they're really really special ones they're not just like sort of kiddie ones so now I've finished doing that what I was trying to do was do it more layers of colour towards the centre of the where I started and then a bit less on the tips. It doesn't show up that well the gradient of colour so I'm going to come back in with some grey or brown. Mm, brown. 
I'm going to use number 77 brown. We're going to have some brown down here as well, so it sort of seems right to have some brown. So I'm going to go along the bottom and just add in a tiny bit of brown and all the places where I think there might be some shadow and then try and blend it out. So I'm doing quite a definite line along here and here and then I'm just doing some little circles to just blend it into the green and I'm going to do that with all of the overlap parts and then if I think it needs it I can go back over what well, I will I'll show you I'll go back over with the green and I've gone over the line here which is a bit unfortunate because I don't have an eraser down here I uh, I did bring it down and uh, then took it back up again. My son's got a little Tombow Mono eraser as well and I was going to pinch his when I needed one down upstairs but um, he, um, he had it in his bedroom so I came down and got mine and so it's upstairs still. So there's the brown, you can see it quite clearly I think so I think if I go back over it with the green so it's all blurred now out of focus number 38 and I can try and blend it back in it doesn't matter if you can see a bit of the brown but uh, I want to just try and blend it into the green a little bit so what I've got to do is uh, make sure I remember exactly how I colored this page this pineapple because there's lots on this page and they're all going to need to look the same but luckily I have this video to uh, let me know what I would normally do with a page like this where there's a repeating pattern through um, I don't know if you can see if you're familiar with the page actually hang on I zoom out wrong way I zoom out you can see that we've got pineapple 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 here and there's one down there one on each corner and then bits of pineapple at the top and the rest of the sort of picture repeats as well just go, I'm going to zoom right back in I've got my camera a bit closer today and I seem to be able to get really close which is nice so I'm going to carry on just going over the top of the brown and blending it in so anyway um, so what I would normally do with a repeating pattern, if I wanted every pineapple to look the same, I would do them alongside each other. So as soon as I did my first layer of this green, I would do that on every pineapple and then do the next layer of green on every pineapple. And then it makes it much easier to remember what you're doing. Otherwise, you can write it down as you go. But uh, I find it easier to do them alongside each other. Now I'm going to go back in with the green, um, the lighter green number five. Sorry, let's bring it into focus a little bit. And I'm going to take it almost to the tip. I'm going to leave the tips and I'm going to lighten them up just a, a little bit, I think. And we might um, use a bit of yellow, which again is the colour we'll bring into the bottom part of the pineapple. So you can see I'm using this sort of up and downy stroke today. What I tend to do is follow the line of what I'm colouring sometimes. And with the pineapple, um, they sort of have more of a, a liney type look to them. It's not always really smooth. So there we go for that. Now on the very tips, hmm, I'm trying to think what I might, I think I might use. Will that work? Let's give it a go this really light number 10 just to line it up if it doesn't look right we can always um, go over it a bit but it's fun to sometimes be daring and just have a go and see what happens see I was tempted to colour in one of the other pineapples first and then I could sort of experiment and see how it looked but I've just decided to go for it I think it's more fun I know some of you comment and say you like seeing how I choose my colours, so if I'd already planned it out, you wouldn't get that idea. So this is, I can, I'm going over quite a lot of the green as well to sort of blend it all together. And I think that's worked because now you've got quite a difference between the colour of that tip and the colour down here with the shadow. 
Now these, the main part of the pineapple, again, I should rub, erase that. I do have a little eraser here, a big eraser, I mean, but they're not going to use it. So I'm going to start with this dark brown that we used on the pineapple. And I'm going to show you my idea is to just do a little bit of brown here and here. See, we're going to cover this green with brown anyway. So on the sort of bottom of all these bits, it's just a little bit because it's quite a small space. I might just push it up a tad because it's quite a small space here. We don't want to do too much of this dark colour because I want to layer up the colours. So a little bit of the brown. I'd be interested to see what my son thinks when I finish this having challenged me. It's quite fun I find if you're a bit stuck and you're not sure what picture to do next just get someone from the family to pick one. Um, if you haven't got anyone to ask then uh, just sort of randomly flick through the book or think of a number and turn to that page. Something like that. I know some people work through their books in order. I did that when I did um, my first copy of Enchanted Forest. I work through in order. I don't know whether that was the right thing to do there. Hmm. And um, now I'm going to leave those. And now I'm going to go for a lighter brown and I'm going to move down a couple of tones to number 73. Anyway, I did Enchanted Forest in order because I thought it might be better, but I haven't done any books in order since, so obviously I decided better of it in the end. I think I found that I was sort of having to do a picture which I may not have necessarily been in the mood for on that particular day, so I sort of felt that some of them could have been perhaps coloured a little bit better had I left them for a bit. Gosh, someone's walking around upstairs. I don't know if you can hear their footsteps because my camera's a bit lower down. I'm close to the microphone, so I don't know whether um, you pick up so much noise as you would have done before. But uh, anyway, I'm not sure. It's all a bit experimental down here in the kitchen. I'm still experimenting with technology. I, it took me an, nearly an hour today to put a video on Instagram. It was completely bonkers. What I had decided to do was to put a little speeded up version of one of my videos on there to, because uh, I think they're quite fun. Um, I'm going to go down a shade to number 49 and uh, I always find them amusing anyway. So I thought I'll pop that up and see whether people seem to find that interesting and engage with it. By the time I put the video up, I started about three o'clock. I had to make it for, I had to sort of make it and export it and that takes a little while. And then by the time I got it up, it was just before four o'clock and Johanna came on for her live and I thought, well, everyone would be watching her and not be watching my videos. So uh, it didn't get many um, um, sort of views, but I can't, I can't tell. It's with Instagram as to whether it encourages people to come and look at my channel on YouTube or not. I've been doing a little bit of promotion trying to encourage people to come and watch my videos because my New Year's resolution was to try and help as many people enjoy colouring because I think it's such a lovely thing to do, so relaxing and the colouring community are so lovely and friendly as well. I think it's really good for mental health. I'm going to now move over to a green, number 57. And I think mental health is something we all really, really need to look after this year. So I'm going to put a fair bit of green in here. And uh, so I think, you know, it'd be nice to help people with that. And that's sort of one of the reasons I started doing the videos as well. I thought it'd be nice to sort of encourage people a little bit and I think 
there are a lot of really fantastic videos out there anyway but I just thought I would have a little go and uh, I think my first few videos were just flip throughs of my book and I was a bit scared and I didn't speak and it's really daunting to start with talking to a camera and it sounds ridiculous sometimes trying to say to someone I was worried about talking to a camera when no one was in the room but you do worry and then um, so I did quiet ones and then I got a new book that I wanted to review and of course you can't do a silent review you could, I could have done a flip through but I didn't want to do that I wanted to do a proper review so I reviewed it and I had to speak and I found one, as I did more and more videos it was easier and easier to uh, speak to the camera now I want to move into a yellowy colour but I'm going to transition through this green this number 56 because it's a bit more yellowy I'm just going to try and shade this all through a little bit more I think I missed those top ones off last time but there isn't a lot of space and I'm going to try and fill quite a lot of this space with this green because I want the yellow to be my last colour but I know pineapples aren't massively green but I'm hoping once I put the yellow on I can put the yellow over all of it and it will bring it together and make it look a bit more yellowy I did have a quick look at a picture of a pineapple before I did this and I just thought I would wing it a bit because they aren't gonna they don't look exactly like I've done them but you know what it doesn't matter sometimes it depends how right they are as well we actually had a pineapple around Christmas time. We were lucky enough. My parents sent us a fruit um, box. It was lovely. And in there was a pineapple. Now, I never buy pineapple. And uh, one of my sons absolutely loves them. He went absolutely over the moon. So we had all this delicious pineapple to eat. Right, now I'm going to go in with the number 10. This is obviously the same yellow we used at the top here. And I thought it would be a good idea to use the same one and sort of um, it sort of brings it all together really if you use the same colours now as you can see I'm going right over all of these sections to uh, bring it all together now you might want it a bit more yellowy or orangey so you might want to leave out the green but I looked at pictures and they did have some green in which is why I decided to include the green but uh, if it transitions straight from orange to yellow without the green, that would work, wouldn't it? It's quite rainbowy because of the uh, different colours, but I think that's okay. So I'm really am pressing quite hard, just trying to blend it all together. But I have got a piece of paper under this page to protect the page underneath. So if you're pressing really hard, and be wary of that. Sometimes also it can dent the paper if you press too hard. I found that with, I think it was actually this, my original Magical Jungle has got some indentations through from the page behind. But um, Johanna's got such nice paper now, it it's, doesn't do it so much. But also I've got better at judging how hard I can get away with pressing. So I used to find when I was doing something really fine like this, I would just push down really hard to get one really hard line, whereas now I know that it's much better to go over it a few times rather than pushing down. I'm sure I've spoken about this before. You all know this, I'm sure. And actually, some of the really fine lines, if you don't think you can get your pencil sharp enough and you're worried about pushing down, just use a pen, um, a fine liner. Um, they can be really good. I haven't got many. So my final touches for my pineapple. I quite like that. Anyway, here it is the Posca gold pen. Shape. I'm not sure if it's going to work straight away. Sometimes they need priming. But all these little gaps, let me fill in with gold. It is working. I don't know how well you can see that it's gold. Let me see, I don't know if the light's really catching it very well. Now I find there are some some 
um, pens give a better gold effect than others. Glitter pen would be really lovely. That would really catch the light. Um, but I find unless I use a fixative with my glitter pens, it leaves glitter through my whole book. So I wasn't keen to do that. Um, there are also some, some metallic pens are better than others. I find these are pretty good. I know Colour with Claire did a video where she found a really good set of shiny pens which seem to look like reflective mirrors and they um, looked good all the time. You didn't have to really direct them to the light, they just shone. They looked amazing. But they didn't work on the porous paper. She had to put a layer of paint underneath, I seem to remember. But uh, that was a really interesting video. But uh, I just used these. And uh, gosh, that's a banging noise. And a stamping upstairs. Right, so here we go. This is our finished pineapple. I'm going to tip him up towards the light. Oh, so he goes out of focus. That's not There we go, because I haven't got a lamp in here. I can't really show you the full effect, but there we go. So there's our pineapple. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had great fun doing that. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I need to start saying please subscribe if you enjoy my videos so that you can uh, get notification when I make another one. But uh, thank you for watching and happy colouring.